Hey everybody, Michael Mowbray here from MoLite. See, I was just retouching a headshot from a test shoot I did for an actress, and I was also testing out a new lighting system that um, I'll have a video on this sometime soon, but I'm going to call it the MoLite Surround. And the idea is to give you a very, really kind of contemporary uh, lighting look. You can see what's going on here. Nice white, nice clean, fairly flat, but you know, it's a look that we're looking for for a lot of models and actors. For their headshots so but that's not the purpose of this video this video is to show you how to do a quick retouch on the dreaded black sweater and sometimes you'll see this on blazers and suit coats and anything that's dark where especially god forbid they have a cat um, you get all of this junk going on here and you could go in here with a healing brush or a clone stamp and then do each one individually and that would take forever and all you're doing is just getting rid of eyesores on their uh, on their black uh, black sweater. Now, yeah, should have taken a lint brush to this. Sure, um, I have found that you do that, and there's still a lot of this stuff left. So, here's a quick fix. Okay, so just make sure that you've got a duplicate layer. As a matter of fact, I've already duplicated a layer because I was working on some of the skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and give myself another layer here, um, hitting Control or Command J. To duplicate the layer now I'm working on a clean layer that hasn't been uh, touched with uh, with something new and here's how you get rid of this stuff I'm just back out just a little bit go in with your quick select tool quickly select all the black see how clean that is boom got all the black go to filter go to noise go to dust and scratches it's really a filter that's made or when you used to scan, well, I suppose you still do, you used to scan transparencies and negatives and it have all kinds of dust on them. Well, this works great on this kind of thing too. And my default setting is radius 12, threshold 10. We're going to come in tighter on this. Okay. Here's what it looks like normally. Here's what it looks like now. They're all gone. Just think of how much time that saved you. Now, you can mess with uh, radius and threshold here because it does tend to blur um, the, the clothing a little bit. But if it's not a super important aspect of the headshot, you know, you still have detail in the clothing. I don't care if there's a little softness on the clothing. I want them to look at the headshot, right? So in this particular case, I'm okay. It's a little softer than it is in real life. I'll turn it off. Not much, man. It's not much of a difference, but... It is a huge difference on all the crap that's on there. I'm just going to click OK and take off my selection. Done. Okay, it took me a lot longer to talk about that than it did to get it done. So you can even back it off a little bit since you put it on a different layer. You know, mess around with it. But again, try those base settings and you can get most of this done, if not all of this done, in one little simple step. So hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully it's a good tip. Apply this to all your retouching workflow and make everything more efficient. Michael Mowbray from Molite. Talk to you soon.